Oh, like, YouTube. Doing YouTube. Yeah, movie. definitely YouTube. You like <laughs> YouTube will change your life, and it's totally it's like nine day though. Oh, because like yeah. I, I didn't see this come out. Say it. What's up? <laughs> I deal. It's nine day because I deal with a lot of these real life YouTubers and real life Instagrammers, mm -hmm. and sometimes the YouTubers look down on creators, like Instagram creators, like because it's one of my bros, Deshae Frost, and like Robbie, they, they, we're all friends. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deshae, shout out to Deshae. He why are you doing this? Like, you just, they don't, they don't, like, it's too much work on Instagram, they okay. believe, for little of nothing. Uh -huh. Because they see it differently. But like, if you're a creator, you're a creator. A lot of the Instagrammers look at the YouTubers like, oh, they're little douchebags who do nothing <laughs> and have no creativity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like night and day, like, and they battle each other. And then it's like clicks, like, oh, this is a YouTube click, Instagram click. Oh, we don't click together. Like, it's wow. so weird. Like, you'll see this shit. Like, when you go to LA, you'll notice it. But they all still friends, but yeah. it's like this is like nah. It's we like have the YouTube iPhone, too. Android type stuff. Exactly. So it's like it's it's, it's night and day. But YouTube will. I've seen it, bro. Instagram has changed lives, but I've seen a lot of the creators get on YouTube, and I mean they're making twenty, thirty thousand a month. Like mm -hmm. I watched the Shay. Like I saw all this do this, but I watched the Shay. Like literally, go for nothing to jump on, buying a new G wagon. Yeah. Moving his family from one part of LA to a, the best part of LA, and we're all a part of this because we like we're seeing this. And I'm yeah. like, bro, I'm so proud of you. Just out of nowhere, just start to blow up. Even a lot of the, I'm running um, a lot of the the two girls, famous Ocean and Kung Fu, the two sisters, like they have literally they did nothing. They went to they had like almost 300,000 subscribers on um, YouTube, and they didn't even create. But they just started to create these dope videos and like one hit, we did a prank. Actually, this scar <laughs> last week came from a, a prank. She did like this prank on her boyfriend. Uh -huh. He got really mad. And he was like, oh, and he's like, I tried to get him down and this happened. But that video is about to hit a million. Oh, that sounds crazy. Yeah, about to hit a million <laughs> views. It's at 600, it's maybe 700K now in yeah. like a few days. And that one video has made, is making like thousands of dollars. And I'm like, y'all, Yo, you see, if you create, creating, keep, keep pumping it. She pumped the next video. It went like 100,000, like two hours. Yeah, like, yeah. views, and like, keep pumping, y'all, keep pumping, keep pumping, because there's money inside. Like, y'all have these goals. Y'all want to buy G-Wagons. Y'all want to move your family here. Y'all want to live in these condos. It's so easy to do, because YouTube can become like that residual base of your life where you know right. you're going to get 5,000 to 10,000 a month. And then you can go just and create, off yeah, videos. just off that video and doing those videos that's going to make you go viral, that are already going viral, just to copy. You know, it's so easy to do. You sit here and put a ring light up and do uh, uh, whatever it is. And just pranks, challenges, vlogs, because people want to, their fans can see another perspective of their life. Mm. They see the inside. They really want to watch that. You know, yeah. and that's why uh, YouTube is, it's hard though. It doesn't convert. Don't think you're going to go on Instagram and then blow up your YouTube. No, it's a whole nother different uh, algorithm. It's a whole nother different way of doing things. And once you figure it out, you could master, you could really do some big things with, with YouTube. But I mean, and then you still have the sponsorship opportunities and all that stuff. Exactly. Yep. Because they yeah. just did one for the first time, the famous Ocean and Kung Fu. And they had to do like something called Lash Bay with these lashes and they wanted like this 30 second, 10 second clip in the front. And it was like, how do you, I was like, well, it goes in the front as like, and it was like, how do I say it? How do I do it? So they, I mean, they got paid a couple of thousand to do that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that, to, uh, there's a lot of artists, right? That have a perspective against doing what your influencers are actually doing, right? There's this conversation where a lot of artists feel like you can't translate over from an influencer to an artist. It's not true. I don't understand how they still get themselves to believe that the proof is in the pudding. But, but what do you, I don't know, what do you say to a statement like that? <laughs> well, it's not true. Like, I know for a fact because a lot of the, because you could take, in, like, you could notice, like, a lot of the influencers who were artists, they blow up. Like, Lil Nas X technically was an influencer. Technically, like, yeah. A troll. That's why he does the things he does because yeah. that's who he is yeah. you know and you master and you um 
put things out on certain platforms, it's going to blow up. And they're really, they're talented. There's no, I mean, even if you are not talented, you can get a writer and you can go into the development phase and get a dope beat and it, it can go. Right. You know, it's just because anything can be created nowadays. Mm-hmm. But um, and then a lot of them were really passionate about music. So if you're passionate about it, there's nothing you can they can do it, you know, and they got some good stuff in the streams. And they're, I mean, I have uh, an influencer that I, I work with, Lovato, like he was way in the freaking Philippines doing he was on a YouTube stage sponsored event in, a, in Asia, wow. like from a song like. It's crazy, got verified and blowing up as an artist and with no label, none of that. <laughs> Just management. <laughs> See, and do you think, so obviously he's moving, a lot of people might not know him, right? But do you think that maybe that might kill a lot of artists before they even get started by trying to seek that type of popularity and approval? that you don't really have to have like, oh, this art, like the guy you're talking about, Vado, he's killing it in what he's doing and he, he and there's more growth to happen. But another artist might say, oh, well, this isn't Lil Baby, right? And I'm trying to be Lil Baby and I hear and I want to have this this traditional type of record label proper popularity that I've seen growing up. You know what I mean? Well, the world is so big and if you leave that concept alone, you'll make, you'll do well. You look at artists like Russ. Like, a lot of people don't even know who he is, but he has t- stadiums that are packed out yeah. and he's making yeah. money and without being like this mainstream name, he has a mainstream name, but it's like mainstream in certain niches. Like it's mm-hmm. weird, weird. I never yeah. knew who he was. Like it's <laughs> yeah. weird because yeah. the world is so big. Like mm-hmm. there's a lot of artists who pop on like, where they come from? They have a million followers and they do a show and people show up like your fan base, as long as you, Focus on catering to your fan base and everything else will take off. And it's good to be like that little baby name or like like that um, uh, whatever the big names are. It's good to be that. But, you know, sometimes if you set your own goal and you set you get what you want, like you may just your goal may just to perform in front of 30,000 and make, you know, enough money to to live like a superstar and you happy in that, then do that. Some, I, don't, I don't think some people want to be like like super superstars, but if you talent it, you really well, at some point it's going to come to that point. Mm. You know, yeah. your talent, talent will, will really, really take, take you to, to the, the next level. level. Yeah, I think that's important. I mean, this whole idea that people are still in prison by their own like local geography. We're in a world <laughs> where you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. Right, and if you have the talent, like you said, you can you can find your fan base, and now even monetize it without even going in overseas if if you don't really want to. But of course, then going overseas, get touring checks or yeah. whatever kind of show you can do if you're just an influencer. But that's it's it's interesting that people are still confined to those ideas where it's like the the door is open and you're right. <laughs> you know what I mean, but you're looking the other direction. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Thank you.